Good morning, Keith Herm, Davis County Fire Department Inspector Investigator. Uh, this morning we're going to talk about a date we missed over the weekend. Saturday night, Sunday morning, we sprang forward on our clocks, moved our clocks forward an hour, and we want to talk about smoke detectors. Uh, sometimes we talk about this in the fall, sometimes in the spring. That fire department makes us no difference. Just want to make sure that you check these smoke detectors and at least once a year change the batteries. I've got two detectors with me this morning. Uh, one of them is hardwire. If you can see, this one plugs in directly, but it is still battery backup. We're going to take this detector down from the ceiling, unplug it. We're going to look at it, look at the manufacture date on it. This one is good. Uh, check the date on my battery. And my battery, I have in my hand here, is a 4 of 23. So I'd want to change this battery out, go ahead and get rid of it because it's going to expire next month. Uh, the other battery I have in my hand is not much better. It expires in July of 23. Well, we would want to put fresh batteries in, make sure we line them up properly, positive on the positive side, negative on the negative side. Put it back together. Again, if it's dirty, dust it off, vacuum it off. And if it's beyond that 10 year uh, limit, we want to go ahead and replace them. Uh, these smoke detectors do expire. Things go wrong with them. A lot of times we get calls from folks, uh, something's wrong with their smoke detector, it's chirping. It's either a low battery or simply the, the detector is just too old. Not working properly. This one here I've got in my hand is a non-hard wired. It's strictly battery only. Uh, only difference is it doesn't plug into your electrical system in your house. Again, it's going to have the date on it. And we'll show those dates here in a little bit at uh, a close-up. Going to mount the same way. Uh, this particular brand of detector has a sticker on it that you can actually uh, denote the uh, date you install it. And that's always good to know as well because sometimes we'll buy these detectors and they may be a year or two years old in the package in the store. So you want to note the uh, date you install it. So again, we sprang forward on Saturday. Let's check these detectors. And if we didn't change the batteries in the fall, let's change them here in the spring. Hope this is helpful and have a good day.